Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and this is Auto Detour. I just want to take a second to thank you guys for stopping by to spend a little bit of your time with me today. This is my 2007 Audi S8. It does come with a V10 in it with the Audi Quattro all-wheel drive system. Um, I have owned this car for about 11 months now and today I want to go over some of the weird features that the S8 has. And I realize that some of them may not, may not be S8 specific, but this is the first Audi that I've ever owned and I just kind of want to go over the ones that I found over the course of 11 months of my owning the car. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, I have done quite a few videos with the S8 so far and uh, there'll definitely be more to come. So hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna go over all the, I shouldn't say all the things. I'm continually finding new things that I didn't know about even, even after owning the car for this long. I, I still find things that I didn't know about before and that are surprising and kind of quirky and weird. So uh, I'm sure that I'll find more as we go along here and I'm definitely not gonna go over all the strange features. I'm just gonna go over a few of the ones that stood out to me. So let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, I'll show you a few of my favorites that I've found so far. Okay, so for the first feature, we're gonna go around to the driver's side of the car here. And before you even get in the car, and I don't, maybe some of you may have never even noticed this before, but on the end of the door, we have this bizarre looking button that looks like a car sitting on a ramp with radio waves coming off the top of it. You know, not, maybe you Audi owners know what that means, but uh, me, being a non-Audi owner before owning this, I've never seen this icon in my life. And so, it's just a button here. I had to look up what it meant, because I had my speculations on what it meant, and, you know, my mind went places like, you know, anti-alien theft protection, and it looks like an Audi jumping off a ramp. So, but it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't very clear as to what that meant. As it turns out, this is how you disable the Audi's tow-away protection. Uh, as part of the car's alarm system, if the doors are locked and the car is sitting and the car gets moved, like by a tow truck, uh, hence the uh, being put up, lifted up on a ramp there, the, uh, the car's alarm will go off. So if your car is being towed, uh, you'll want to hit this button to disable the tow-away protection so that your car's alarm isn't going off the whole way home on the back of the flatbed truck. I also read something interesting about that, that people also have issues if you're in a place where you ride a ferry frequently and you put your car on the ferry. Uh, you also may want to disable that because if your car's locked on the ferry and the, the ferry rocks about, um, it's likely that your car alarm may go off because it thinks it's being moved. Anyway, pretty interesting feature. But while we're on the driver's door, another thing on my list here is this button right here. It's not so much the functionality of this button that is strange or weird, it's the fact that Audi chose to make it bright red uh, out of all the other black buttons and all the other cool things that this car does. They chose to make this button bright red and also it, when you turn it off, it lights up with an LED. You know, I got, I had no clue what that meant when I, when I bought the car. You know, I'm thinking, you know, it must be dangerous. It's a bright red button. Is it a ejection seat? Is it going to fire some missiles or something like that? I mean, bright red usually means danger or, you know, the president's going to pick up his phone and, and okay the, the missile launch, that kind of stuff. But, uh, but nope. It uh, literally just disables the memory seats. So I'm really curious as to why they made that button bright red, but uh, when you push it, it'll, it'll, it's the memory seat lockout. It basically locks uh, the memory settings inside, inside here from being changed if you let anyone borrow your car. Um, I guess it's a useful feature, but I, I still am baffled as to why they made it bright hazard red. And you can see on the uh, passenger door over there has the same red <laughs> warning button over there. So moving on to the further into the inside of the car is another feature that I 
do know what it's for, but it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And that feature is the card holder in the dash. The card holder in the dash seems relatively pointless to me, but maybe that's because I wasn't the target market for this car originally. Basically, it's this card holder that pops out of the dash here. You know, it's nice, felt lined, uh, appears to be a credit card holder of some kind. I, of course, am going to pick the most ironic card that you'll probably never see in this card holder in your life, my Harbor Freight gift card. But you can see a card fits in there perfectly. They even designed it so that it's got this little, this little ridge in the bottom of it. This ridge makes it so you can push down on the back of the card and it pops up to the perfect level to just slide it out like this. So that's pretty neat because normally without that ridge the card would just get stuck in the bottom of there and you'd be trying to pick it out with your fingernails or something. But I've heard theories that this is for credit cards. Um, I can't really think of a situation to where you would want to keep one credit card in one car unless you have a dedicated like gas card for a specific car. Um, another thought was uh, maybe you have a car wash card in there. If you have a car wash card that you use to keep your car washed on a regular basis, if you don't have somebody doing it for you, if you're owning an S8 brand new. Um, and then the other thought I had was perhaps, perhaps that is for like a country club gate key or something. Obviously the target market for the S8 are the types of people that would go to a country club or would need a gate key whether it be a magnetic key that you just pull out and you stick out the window and hold it up to the little sensor and the gate opens, or maybe they have a gate to their house that works the same way. I'm not really sure. Um, really a strange feature, uh, very unique, but uh, that is the card holder in the S8. For the next item, we're gonna hop into the back seat here. So for this one, I've covered this item before in past videos, so you've seen this before, and this is not on all S8s, this is an option. My S8 does have this option, it is the ski bag. So if you're curious about the ski bag, the ski bag sits right behind this little panel here. We're going to go ahead and open it up, and as you can see, there's a ski bag all folded up in there that you gotta make sure you gotta get it nice and neat origami-like in there to get it back in there, but you open it up, and I'm gonna open it up here for you guys. So we're gonna open up the ski bag by just simply pulling it out from its little compartment here. And it goes up far enough to sit on the, uh, the front armrest up there. So then it comes with this strap here with a little seat belt plug on it, which you can then plug into the center seat belt to hold all your skis down while you're traveling. Make sure they don't uh, fly around, I guess, in case of an accident. But uh, pretty, pretty weird feature there. But uh, in case you're heading off to Aspen or the French Alps in your S8 with your all-wheel drive, you're all set for a couple of pairs of skis in the ski bag and after you're done skiing the ski bag will keep your nice leather seats nice and dry now let's head around back here and before we hop in the trunk to show you the uh, the hatch to the ski bag i want to point out a couple of things that i found out about again still finding things on a car that i've owned for almost a year now uh, but i thought they were pretty cool features not worthy of a weird feature for this video but things that i wanted to point out that i found along the way so I found that under here, there's actually a place where you can put your key to lock the trunk. So you can put your key in here and you can either lock it, put it in valet mode. And what that actually does is not only does it lock the trunk from being able to open it, um, but it also locks it from being able to open it up front. So. I guess it makes sense to be able to lock your trunk, but I just didn't realize that that was under there because it's it's hidden really well. Then also really cool, obviously, is the power lift trunk, which is totally unnecessary, but goes along with the rest of the car. But another thing I want to point out that I found while I was researching stuff for this video 
was these little things right here. So you can see that, but these are hooks for hanging your bags or your groceries or anything you don't want sliding around in the trunk. You just pull them down, hang the handles over them, uh, and then your bags don't slide around in the trunk. So then when you let go, they slowly go back up into place. And again, there's another one on this side. So I thought that was pretty cool, a neat idea. I didn't even know it was there. So, so let's hop in the trunk here. I'm gonna show you the hatch for the ski bag. Now, for all the other conveniences that this car has, this ski trap door ugh, is not very convenient because the trunk in here is so big, I can literally lay in here, but it's so big that I can't reach this trap door standing outside the car. So I literally have to lay in the trunk to be able to open this trap door. But once you have it open, there are your, your access to your skis. You can put probably a couple, two, maybe three pairs of skis in there. Definitely no snowboard. I figured that out in my last video uh, where I talked about that, but pretty cool. You can shove your skis in there. If you want to get to it, you definitely got to lay in the trunk. Check out the size of this trunk. Well, whatever you got to do to get your skis in, I guess. So another feature that my S8 has is, well, I've been calling it soft closed doors. I wouldn't really call it soft closed because it doesn't keep them from closing any softer. So you can still shut them like normal, but I would call it maybe power close or, or something. But basically what happens when, when, you, uh, when you shut your door and it doesn't quite shut all the way, it just hits that one click. Uh, and then you gotta open your door and you gotta slam it shut again to make sure it clicks twice. Well, this car has the, uh, we'll call it power close, I guess. I don't know the official name for it. But here, we'll, we'll just do it one click like this. And the car does the rest for you. So, same with the back doors. So that's kind of a fun feature, kind of weird because, I mean, honestly, it just, it's not actually keeping the doors from slamming, but it's pulling them shut when you don't shut them all the way. Or I've noticed it's, I've noticed it's been helpful for if, you know, you're, you're walking away from the car. So you get out of the car, you're walking away and the door doesn't quite shut all the way. You have to turn around and go back and reshut it again. Well, if it, if it clicks shut, the uh, the power close will pull, pull it the rest of the way close for you. So pretty cool, a little bit weird. Uh, thought it was worth mentioning in this video. And the last few items I have on my list are inside the car. So let's hop in here. One weird feature is the uh, pop-up tweeters on the uh, on the Bang and Olufsen sound system. So you got your tweeters over in the corner here. I'm going to turn the car on here, and you guys can watch the tweeter rise up out of the dash. <laughs> that's definitely one of the coolest features in the car it's I consider it pretty weird though because it's I'm not sure that it's really necessary and it's definitely one of the, one of those things that's gonna break over time and it's not gonna be cheap to fix but it's definitely a cool conversation piece it adds some theater to the startup of the car along with the, the screen rising up out of the dash the last couple of items I want to go over, one is the tow mode. So tow mode, at least here in the US, is a very strange feature to have on a car, especially one that's sport oriented. Um, and one that doesn't come with a, a tow hitch or anything. I realize that in Europe that's not such a strange thing, but to tow anything with an S8 uh, in, the, in the United States would definitely be out of the ordinary. So if we go into car and setup here, you're going to see right away that trailer towing mode along with the vehicle jack mode. So I'm not totally 100% sure on what trailer towing mode does, but from my understanding, it kind of locks out the rear air suspension so that it doesn't 
so that it handles the tongue weight of the trailer a little better. I'm not 100% sure on all the features of trailer towing mode. I haven't really had a need to look into it because I, I have a truck along with most other people that would want to tow, tow a trailer here in the US. But I can see where it's a little more commonplace in the UK to when you pull it to pull a trailer with a sedan like this because people don't have big vehicles like trucks or large SUVs. So they need to be able to pull their their camp trailers or caravans uh, with their sedan. So I suppose if you're going on holiday and you're taking your caravan along with you and you want to load up the boot, you can put it in trailer mode so that your air suspension can handle the tongue weight and the load of all your stuff. The last item I want to go over is the automatic sunshade. So everybody's, I'm sure by now, if you've seen an S8 or an A8, you've seen the sunshade in the back. And I'll, I'll raise it up here for you. But what you may not be aware of is, <laughs> that's pretty sweet by the way, but what you may not be aware of is there is an automatic setting for the sunshade. So the sunshade has a light sensor associated with it so that when <coughs> it, it senses sun coming in the back window, it automatically puts the sunshade up for you. Um, so that's, that's kind of a weird feature because, you know, pushing the button here is, is just so inconvenient. For the automatic sunshade setting, we're gonna go into car again, and then we're gonna go here down into the systems in the bottom left corner here. So we're gonna push this button. So it'll bring up our list of systems here. We're gonna go down to Windows. So there, when you open up Windows, you're gonna see rear blind, automatic, then you can go ahead and turn that on. But that, that's a pretty weird feature of just crazy things that you never you never think about adding into a car. They've thought about things, and, and this car, again, is over over 11 years old now, so it's like I, I'd love to get into a newer Audi or a newer S8 or their newer higher trim level cars to see what kind of crazy things they put in those things. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my S8 and some of the weird features that I've found so far. If you guys know of any weird features that I didn't cover today or uh, I plan on covering more in the future as I come across them but it put your favorite weird feature for the S8 or Audi in general down in the comments below I'm sure people would love to see them I love reading the comments seeing what you guys have to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about the S8 and being able to experience this car with me but uh, we'll be doing a lot more stuff on this car and as I find out more things I'm happy to share it with you guys um, if this video was informative or helpful to you or you just enjoyed watching it, hit that like button. That helps my channel grow. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you again next time.